Pandemic relief on the way to Texas in the form of a COVID-19 vaccine. Good evening, I'm Oscar Adame. Christine has a night off. We reported earlier tonight on the 1.4 million doses of the vaccine headed to the state by the end of the month. In the meantime, though, a drug already approved by the FDA appears to be working as advertised. Tony Velasquez Jr. shows us exactly how. With a vaccine on everyone's minds and possibly just weeks away, the FDA quietly approved its first treatment ever for COVID-19, and it just might be working. They get into the cells of your body. They, they use your own machinery to make more copies of themselves, and then they blow up your cell. Since its approval in late October, two prominent figures here in the Valley, hospitalized due to COVID-19, were successfully treated with remdesivir in combination with other drugs. Attorney Jay Gonzalez and Hidalgo County Sheriff Eddie Guetta, which left us wanting to know more. If you can cut them short, well, then you save your cells and you save yourself and you also save that virus from replicating and making more and more and more copies. When I interviewed Jay Gonzalez, he told me he credits remdesivir for helping him finally overcome COVID-19. The thing that turned the tide for him is remdesivir. Most of these antiviral drugs, what they do is they interfere with the ability of the virus to actually reproduce in your body. Which is major if you can stop COVID-19 before it mass produces. Most viruses have evolved to the point to where they don't kill you, but you know there are still quite a few out there, especially new infections that are very dangerous. Because if the virus kills the host, meaning you, then they also die. It's not perfect, probably doesn't work for everyone, but I can tell you, if I, if I had COVID, I would, certainly, I would certainly welcome the opportunity to be able to take. Remdesivir is available at most hospitals here in the Valley, but it's worth noting that a five-day course can run you up to over $3,000. In McAllen, Tony Velasquez, Jr., Channel 5 News.